In today's solo video, I will live in an underwater base on PEI. We will raid PvP and getting very geared. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 250 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now. Today, we're going to another one, which is a freezing Kazat player peacemaker. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright, boys, we're joining. PEI, completely solo, server is uh, full of people right now. I have not played PEI in actually so long, it's crazy, I haven't touched this map in months. But yeah, today what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get ourselves a good run. I'm gonna try to build myself actually an underwater base. I think building an underwater base on PEI is actually a great idea because th there's a lot of water around, so people won't really be looking uh, for your base. I think I'm gonna build it next to the island and the campground actually, but first things first is obviously we need to take over a base and just do a temporary base. I spawn next to Confed, so I'm gonna try to get myself some guns, some military guns. There's burned down cars here, so there's gonna be people around. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, raided bases around, so we're probably gonna try to take one of these over. So, yeah, there's a guy over at, at Confed. And I'm here completely naked, I have absolutely nothing. I'm gonna try to get a gun, maybe, and I'll try to kill him, but yeah, there's a zombie here. Guess I could try to lure him towards me, punch him out, and hope it drops a maple strike or an Avenger or something. Oh, there we go. Man, the server is five times lower than we got ourselves a maple so yeah, it's actually beautiful. Yeah, he's coming towards here. And he's killing... Alright, he took down the flamer. Let's just take him out. There we go. He's dead. And he... Alright, he's geared. Yeah, he has a lead spec raw grenade. That's pretty good, actually. Some attachments. There's a lot of PvP going on at melee. Damn. Alright, now that's not really important. Yeah, we got ourselves a pretty good kill. Good loot. Love it. Now, this server does not have vault. It does not have kits. So if we're gonna have to raid, we're gonna have to run around with raiding loot on us and, and that kind of stuff. PI is a very simple map though. All you need to loot is just military and confed and perhaps Holman Isle. And that is literally it. I'm gonna try to build far away though. I don't wanna get I don't wanna get raided instantly. And yeah, this I think would be a good base. Yeah, this could be a good base to live in. All we need is a doorway and a wall. First, let's just do ourselves a bedroll, put it over here. Let's claim it. Let's drop everything here so if I die, I won't lose them. And I'm gonna go take a knife and I'm gonna chop down a tree with it. All we need is like one wall, one doorway and a door. And the base is technically ours. And then obviously we need wood for storage. Bro, chop, there we go. Here we go. Okay, that dropped quite a lot of logs actually. Yeah, let's take them all. Yeah, we have more than enough for it. Even for storage, we have enough. Alright, let's run back. Let's take the sticks too. Might as well for storage. I'm gonna chop down another one just in case I don't have enough. I should, but oh, this one was just two chops down. Perfect. Yeah, there's a lot of wood. Obviously, I'm gonna try to get myself, since I'm doing an underwater base, I'm gonna have to get myself a diving tank at some point. And that's gonna be kind of hard to get because I think there's only like two locations in this map you can get it from, which is the campgrounds basically. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves another tree. Bro, they dropped so much wood. Yeah, I have myself a full inventory, actually. Uh, we are back. So what we gotta do is we're just gonna make ourselves a doorway. We'll put this over here so that will be our main exit. I gotta salvage this knife. I actually have to salvage both knives to make the door. And I need to get more metal to make a saw to make planks for storage. Alright, no problem though. There we go. We got ourselves a door. Base is kind of sealed. We gotta seal off from the bottom. Let's pick everything up so it doesn't despawn. Yeah, and we could do a door in here as well. Oh wait, the door's in the way. I gotta salvage the door. I don't understand this. When the door is above, you cannot build under it. It's very weird. I just put this there, but yeah, we got ourselves a, a sealed base. All we have to do is put a door. There we go, and base is sealed. Now what I have to do is I need to get some metal to make a uh, saw. So that's my current next step. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user-friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A game-changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. Alright, so I'm completely naked. There's a... Bro, there's a guy already. 
Yeah, I dropped all of my clothes back in base. Oh, there's PvPing, bro. Oh, he killed them. Oh, there's another dude. It's a duo. This guy's against him. I'm gonna kill this dude. He seems quite geared. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, the other dude is pushing for his loot. Alright, this guy was in a duo, so he's probably gonna TPA his buddy back, but... I'm gonna push and I'm gonna try to kill him. Yeah, he's wearing clothes. Alright, he's dead. Alright, another elite spec. Let's go. Range finder. Okay. Night vision. That's beautiful. Bro, range finder is huge. That's an easy sentry, actually. Alright, let's kill the zombie. Yeah, let's get the metal that we needed. But yeah, I could salvage some stuff. We got ourselves a blunt force, too. Alright, yeah, we are back. So now we just gotta salvage. I'm gonna salvage the cobra and the bow. There we go. We got ourselves two sheets. So, and now with all of these logs that I have on the floor, they're all going to be turned into wardrobes. Alright, we got ourselves a pretty good start, man. Already got some really good loot. Got three kills. Been on the server for like five minutes. Alright, not too bad. Alright, let's just put all of these. I'm gonna put them down here since I'm not gonna exit from here. It's gonna be like the safest place to be. I'll probably even move the bed down here. And we'll always exit from the top. So if we're getting door cam, they still cannot enter, basically. I hear somebody walking on grass. There's somebody outside. I think I'm gonna go try to kill him, obviously. There's a lot of loot on the floor, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to see what's up. I'm gonna try to kill whoever paused by. He's probably going to confed. Let's get ourselves another kill. Maybe this guy's geared, so it could be just a naked, though. Yeah, it is just a naked. Yeah, let's kill him. I thought there was a second dude, but it's just a, a loot pile. He had nothing. A bunch of junk. We can salvage all of these, obviously, but... Yeah, my guy didn't even have a gun. Uh, let's salvage all of the clothes that he had. Uh, make them into meds. Uh, let's take all of these planks. We're gonna make ourselves quite a lot of storage. We should have more than enough. Obviously, when we're done with this base, I'm probably gonna go try to... Get myself a diving tank ASAP. Because I do want to build myself the underwater base as quickly as possible. I also have, like, a pretty nice idea of how I'm gonna build the underwater base. At the bottom, I'll just have, like, the bed and, um, some storage. And then I'll do a tower, like a tower... And in these tower will be holes with hatches. And there will be four wardrobes in each one. I think it'll look pretty cool. Something that I've never seen before. And I think the loot will be distributed quite well. So, but first things first is I'm gonna try to get myself some more loot. Maybe even get myself some raiding gear like a Deto or something like that. That would be great to have. So that when we move to the other side of the map, we wouldn't have to come to military a million times. And just focus on raiding whenever we're there. Yeah, I need to get myself some more planks to actually make more storage. Oh, there's a dude there. There we go, he's dead. Oh, my guy didn't have anything, okay. So basically, I am a military base. I came with barely anything. I didn't even bring my night vision. Because since it's PI, probably everyone's gonna be at military. Literally, this is the only place to be in. But it seems like there was just one dude that barely had anything. And yeah, there's some more loot on the floor, though. So since it's night, I'm just gonna farm here. Bro, 10 times loot is crazy, so... I'm gonna try to get as much metal as possible. I'm gonna even try to get like a blowtorch and that kind of stuff. Would be great if we get that. And probably when it's day, I'll try to start getting myself a diving tank. Oh, wait, what? Wait, there's a guy there. All right, yeah, that is a guy. There we go, he's dead. Let's check out what he had. I think the loot kind of fell actually, but there's some stuff up here. Yeah, he just had clothes. What? He's naked, so. Yeah, I think loot did fall off actually. All right, let's salvage. I think a lot of metal is actually essential for what I want to do. I'm gonna try to get myself a full metal room as well. A lot of wardrobes. Alright, there's more loot here. Oh, he had a blowtorch. Oh, perfect. Right, let's kill these zombies. Alright, they're all dead. Let's go. He had raw blowtorch. Yeah, my guy had a blowtorch, bro. Some mags. Perfect. Yeah, it's getting day actually, so... Alright, so we're gonna home and um, I'm probably gonna start making some lockers already then. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I put the maple strike in a wardrobe. I suicide and uh, I'm gonna loot whatever is closest. I think I'm actually going to other shots. I think I'm gonna try to go kill that. I'm gonna try to loot a farm or something really quickly. Also, I'm getting kind of targeted on the server because uh, some people that I've killed, apparently they know that it's me. I really need to change my photo and my name every single time, man. But, yeah, I'm gonna loot the farm and then we're gonna head up Charlottetown. And from there, I'll probably go to the campgrounds and try to get myself a diving tank. As soon as we get a diving tank, we'll start the underwater base. Alright, so I'm hearing some shots over at Charlottetown, actually. I am going to go there. I have a crossbow and a chainsaw. Chainsaw is actually huge, so that now I can start chopping down trees. Got a backpack as well. Let's go see what's happening over at the town. 
It could be the Maple Strike, dude. It would be great if we get another Maple. We already have uh, two Maples in our base. Yeah, I heard steps. And he's right there. Hit him. He's running away. There we go, he's dead. Is he the Maple Strike, dude? No, he had a Schofield. Alright, well. Not bad, I'll take that. Got another Blowtorch. Let's salvage the clothes. Get ourselves a fishing cat, so. Alright, not too bad. I'm gonna go to the campgrounds now. Oh, there we go. Diving tank. Alright, well, that did not take too long, actually. I mean, it is 10 times load, so obviously it's not gonna take too long, but. Sometimes it actually does. But yeah, we're gonna build here. It's a very quiet place. No, literally nobody comes here. The reason why I'm building here is because I, I don't want to get raided in the next 10 minutes. So we're gonna build over here. And then we'll just go to the confed base. And we'll move all of the load. That that's basically the plan. For us to do an oxygenator though, I need a lot of metal. Which is why I have been farming metal. Um, but first, let's just get ourselves a bed down. I actually don't even have enough um, cloth. I need to get more cloth. Let's actually take a breath. I don't want to accidentally drown here yeah so i'm gonna have to salvage uh, i'm probably just gonna do the pants screw it yeah there we go get ourselves a bed now we can no longer home at the confet base we just this is our new bed but yeah now we're gonna start building probably just gonna do a one by one for now and then we'll upgrade later could probably do a two by one to be honest but oh i can't even build it here because it's too close to a map point okay yeah on the server you're not allowed so even the pillar I can't. Alright, no problem. We're gonna have to just salvage and move them a little bit. Let's reclaim the bed. And we'll put that foundation there. And yeah, this one should be okay now. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, we got ourselves a drum. Oh, that's good. Yes, yeah, so I'm running back. I suicided, got myself a lucky spawn. Alright, let's wear some clothes. Wait, what? Bro, there's... Okay. There's a bunch of loot here. Alright, well, we got ourselves a detonator. There, we got raiding gear. Before we moved, that's perfect. That's what I needed. I got a timber as well. Another raiding method, man. That's good. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the takeover base that I took. And I'm gonna take everything. And we're gonna move it to the underwater base. We're gonna get away from all the action, all the intense stuff. And we're gonna go live in a quiet area. Hopefully quiet area. I don't know if people actually live close or whatever. Yeah, the wall actually started to decay, but it's fine. Let's just take everything. Uh, we're gonna take all of the raw, all of the metal. It's very essential we take it because we need it for the oxy. And yeah, we'll take the rangefinder as well. We could leave a few guns here. And basically if we need something, we'll just come here. Oh, we need that maple strike too, actually. I have no space. I kind of want to take it all in one go. Yeah, we'll drop that. We'll take the LE spec, obviously. Get ourselves the ammo as well. Yeah, I'm going to leave the wardrobes here. I'm actually going to leave the blunt force here too. So basically, if I need a gun really quickly and don't move around confet, then it'll be fine. But yeah, we are back. Very nice. I could actually chop down more trees to make more storage. So that's what I'm going to do next. I can make some lockers. I mean, might as well really quickly. And we'll put the good stuff in it. There we go. We got the oxy generator. So beautiful. I actually need the generator. So yeah, this server has um a generator kit. Because for some reason, the bases on the server are decay. If there's no generator, it's kind of a, a good idea. So there's basically... So there's basically no raided bases around. But yeah, now we got oxygen. So... Perfect. I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna go start chopping down as much trees as possible, make some storage, and then we'll start phase two, which is trying to get ourselves some raids. Obviously, we'll try to get PvP. Oh, somebody with a cobra. Wait, he's trying to shoot at me? Oh yeah, I have a Yuri only on me. Look, Tolman and God, there's another dude back there. Oh, there's Maple Strike too. Oh my God. Wait, first dude dead. Bro, this maple strike is gonna kill me. Oh, there we go, he's dead. Let's take the maple strike, wait, I killed the dude up there. And he's running away. Where did he go? Oh, yeah, he's over here. And he TP'd all of his buddies in. One guy dead. He's dead. Other oh, dude is just running. There we go, all dead. That was a trail, bro, they were all together. Yeah, he had a Cobra. Kind of don't have ammo, to be honest. Let's strip the Yuri and put the 7x on the Maple. All right, so we're looting melee. I came here mainly for more Maple Strikes and as much metal as possible. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves 
as much stuff as we need. Server is kind of dying out already, actually. I am already noticing a lot of people leaving as soon as they get killed once. They just leave the server, man. And people give up so quickly. Like, half the people already left. It's, it's crazy. Alright, I also came here to get grenades so that we can make more charges. I already have one grenade. Like, that means that oh, there's people there. Alright, let's kill. I think it's the same people I just killed. Oh, no, I think it's a separate... Yeah, it's a separate duel. Yeah, one guy dead. He's in here. About dead. He had a maple as well. Alright, pretty pretty nice. Alright, let's kill this dude. Yeah, this was a separate duel. Yeah, bro, everybody comes in melee. He had laser and military barrel. That's good to have. Let's salvage the guns we don't need and the empty ones. Screw the Yuri. Yeah, we got ourselves like five maples already in our base. It's pretty good, man. We already settled for life for PvP guns. Bro, there's somebody shooting on the island. What? He's probably just shooting zombies, but he has maples, so I'm gonna try to get that, obviously. Could be another easy maple strike. He's right over there. What? Ish? What? Let's take him down. There we go, he's dead. My guy was shooting down umbrellas. Oh, that guy is in a trio, actually. Alright, let's just take his gun and his stuff and we'll home. Yeah, at least back. Billion drums. Two blow torches. Alright, let's home. Alright, boys, so I've been farming for like the past hour. Getting myself quite a ton of uh, stuff to make charges and so on. And I did find already two unraided bases. One on Holman and one next to Charlottetown. Um, we're gonna raid them very, very soon. Since it's dark, I think it would be a good idea to raid in the dark, actually. So we don't get countered by, like, the, the three-man, four-man team, how, how much they are. Man, a lot of people are leaving the survey. The only threat that there is is a four-man team, which they just stay in melee the whole time, apparently. So I can literally loot everywhere that I want. Except for military. That That's literally it. So that's what we're going to do next. We're gonna go do... Our first base raid very very soon. There's also a trio, but that trio is the trio that I killed, so they're not really that good. Then there's a bunch of duos, solos. All right, we're gonna we're gonna raid just the two by one. I couldn't find any other raids. There's another one, but we'll do that later. Yeah, there's some loads and oh okay, oh that's good, bro. That's profit. We got ourselves rocket, two zoobs, echo, chainsaw, some ammo, a lot of wood. Okay, I have a lot of wood on me because I thought if I break one wall, I could just. Rebuild, but you know, we broke off the base. All right, this raid was actually quite profit, man. I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, these Zubex will be going into the sentries probably and another rangefinder. So that's already two sentries we can do. It's really good. We'll focus on base later on. First, I want to raid as much and PvP as much. And then when I start getting tired, I'll just start working on base. So all the wood that I had, I just made them into pillars. Over here is where we'll have the holes. We'll have four wardrobes each floor. It'll look very cool. And it, not, it won't really be that easy for raiders because they're going to be apart from each other. So they're going to have to spend more raiding gear if I, if I do get raided. Alright boys, so basically we're gonna do the second raid. Got myself the rocket launcher. This base is also made out of wood. It's all the way up here. Everybody is leaving the server. The server died out. When I joined the server, had so many pop. But now, bro, a lot of people left, man. It's kind of sad, to be honest. But I don't really care. I'm gonna focus on raiding this base and then upgrading my base into however I want it. It'll look very cool if it comes to how it I have it planned out. Alright, so let's take rocket launcher out. I got myself some wood just in case... I only break one wall, but with a rocket launcher, I doubt that. And we're through, and, um... We got an ace! Okay, yo, insane base raid. Alright, well, I hope we didn't raid into the loot room. They put the loot room next to the door. Okay, that's weird. Alright, well, I'm gonna continue looting around, try to get more raiding gear. We don't have any more right now. I could use the timber wolf, but... I don't think it's a good idea. But, yeah, we're, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna try to get myself a rocket, perhaps, or another grenade. Oh, there's a, there's a green skin right in front of me, man. Yeah, let's just take him out. I don't think he had anything, though. Yeah, my guy had um, a, co a, a crossbow and ranger suppressor. Okay. Oh, grenade. Perfect. There we go. Oh, right, we're back for a rocket, too. That broke the majority of the base. Bro, there's nothing? What? Oh, my God. What a waste, man. 
All right, let's check out what's up on the second floor because we did break the wall. Is there really just an ace in this whole base? That kind of rhymed, actually. That's kind of funny. Bro, if there's nothing here, I'm gonna be quite disappointed. The first trade was pretty good. We profited heavily, but this one? Bro, there's nothing in here. Oh, there's one locker, actually. Never mind. Yeah, we're gonna have to grind a little bit more again, though. But yeah, there's a crossbow and a locker. Let's hope that the locker will have something good. So we'll farm for that a little bit. Let's destroy the bed. It's 10 times loot. I'm kind of surprised how there is nothing in there. Maybe there's some good stuff in the locker. Hopefully there is. But yeah, this is basically the plan. As you guys may have just saw, I just came down from a hole. We still gotta do a lot of hatches and I still have to do a lot of holes. And it look very, very cool. We could do it till the very top. So there's like four layers and with each layer, there's four wardrobes. It's, it's very interesting. And I think, as I said earlier, it'll be hard for raiders. But we're gonna go back. We got another charge and we're gonna go put it in the locker. If it's not enough, I still have the echo and the timber. Then again, if those are not enough, then I don't know, man. After that, we'll work on base. All right, here we go. Charge. Let's hope it's enough. It is not enough. Broke the full base, but the locker is still there. All right, great. All right, so I'm back on myself. A full inventory of metal. Still wasn't enough to raid that locker, but it's honestly whatever. I don't, I don't care. Um, I need the blowtorch, actually. I have no idea where I put it. Yeah, where the hell is it? I have no idea. I think I put it in one of these. Oh, yeah, there we go. So let's just do ourselves a bunch of wardrobes. There we go. We got ourselves a bunch of bars. Let's take all... There's so many. I actually have quite a lot of metal. There we go. We got ourselves wardrobe. We need four sheets per wardrobe and four bars per wardrobe. A little bit more than a locker, but it's much better than a locker. All right. Third wardrobe. So basically, we put this right over here. And then we go up and then we do another one here. They look very cool. We still got to do a lot of hatches, but they're very easy to make. All we need is like... A few metal scrap and like two sheets and one scrap, I think. That's all you need. But I'll focus on that later on. Alright, so I'm gonna make some hatches. There we go. First one placed. Second one, let's go. Obviously, if we do the full one by ones into metal, it'll be so much harder for the raiders. But currently, I'm probably just gonna keep most of it into wood. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this part as well. Actually, I have. Yeah, I got a hole here. Put this one here. I was in the way. Oops. Put this one there. We'll salvage this roof. And we'll put the roof right over here. Beautiful. All right, let's get ourselves all of the walls now. Let's seal this part off. Actually, we could just do it from here. I still have another hole. Yeah, we could put it back here, actually. Or up here. And then we could salvage the birch wall. And this one here, this platform, we'll, pray we'll just put ourselves the sentry. It'll be a good placement to put a sentry there. Yeah, I need another hatch. All right, let's seal off this part, so. I don't think... Oh, yeah, I don't have enough, but that's all right. Let's make ourselves another hatch. Let's put the wall here. There we go. We got ourselves some sheets. Hatch. We got ourselves three hatches. Put one here. Put another one here. I like this base design. Four underwalls here especially. It looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of it. I love it, man. I actually do like it a lot. It's kind of cozy for a solo base, you know? Alright, so we're gonna do the sentry now. Yeah, I need the work light and the rifle rack. All we need is just some metal for it. Alright, yeah, I need bars for this. So I need to get myself the blowtorch. Yeah, I think it's the one up here. Yeah, there we go. Already have a few bars, so that's good. There we go, we got ourselves rifle rack. And for a spotlight, yeah, we need a bunch of wire for that. Which I should be able to make quite easily. Yep, there we go. Spotlight. And we got ourselves a hostile sentry. Lovely, beautiful. All right, let's put this one right over here. And we'll put a zoo back in it. There we go. I'm probably gonna do actually some spotlight so that there's some light inside the base. Because when it's dark, it is too dark and I could barely see. So that's actually what I'm gonna do. There we go, we got one. We'll put this right over there. All right, lovely. Let's make ourselves another one. And we'll put this one. Actually, I think if it's under the sentry, that would be pretty nice. So, yeah, let's put it under the sentry. Let's put that there. All right, great. Yeah, man. I love this base. Now, let's put everything inside, and I'm gonna go do some more Lutrons. There's a guy there. There we go. He's dead. Yeah, my guy had a Cobra. I right, got myself a bunch of more wardrobes. The Lutrons will technically be done. Got myself three of these one by ones with four wardrobes in each of them. Yeah, I just need some more bars. 
Yeah, the one up here has barely anything, but the ones below are actually quite geared, man. Got myself quite a lot of stuff in them. Yeah, this one's full of maples, even more maples and some clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna get the timber, I'm gonna go finish that raid. I'm trying to find bars, yeah, there we go. Let's unstack this wire. And we got ourselves the final wardrobe that we needed to craft. Oh wait, wrong way. Oh, yeah, it's something good that I have multiple exits. So that if people are door camping me underwater, I could be able to go even from above them. It's uh, very nice to have that. Let's put a blowtorch and let's go finish this raid with the timber wolf. Yo, civil- oh my god, this raid is literally the worst raid I've ever done in my life. I put so much into this raid and I just got an ace and a civilian vest. There is no way, man. Alright guys, so after that I did actually leave the server. There was nothing else to do. The server died off tremendously. At the start there were over 20 people. At the end, there were like two people including me. So I did leave the server. Thank you guys so much for watching though. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.